The world's first behavior transplant between species has been successfully achieved. Scientists have ushered in a new era of genetic engineering because we're not just swapping physical attributes between similar species, but behavior between entirely different species of animal. So what we're talking about today is transgenic or genetically modified animals. And this comes in a couple of layers, the ancient and perhaps simple childish idea of take a part, put it on a new animal. Something like a griffin, we don't really do this because this isn't how genetics work. You've got naturally occurring hybrids like ligers, then there's genetically modified foods where they'll take physical attributes from other plants or other animal species and use them to enhance the food. Then you've got fully transgenic animals like these mice that have been genetically engineered to be super fuzzy or these mice that have been genetically engineered to glow in the dark. But so far, all of those were physical attributes. What I'm talking about today is scientists have been able to transfer a courtship behavior from one species to another, triggering the recipient to perform this completely foreign act as if it were its own. This came out of Nagoya University, and they've been trying to single out a gene that's used to create neural connections and transfer behavior between two, dis two different species of fruit fly. We've got the Subascura and the Melanogaster here, and while both species are part of the same subfamily, they do have distinct neural circuits that have very different mating behaviors. You can see them pictured side by side. One of them has a mating behavior where they sing to attract a mate, and you can see this other one uh, with the little Glorbo on the end. The other one throws up to attract a mate. And since 2017, scientists have been working only on the neural pathways of these flies to try to decode their genetic love language and what limited thought process, I suppose, could be applied to it. And what they've managed to do is swap these mating rituals. So the Milanogaster uh, got turned into a gift giver, uh, a vomitor, instead of singing. So this species of fly on the left that used to sing to attract a mate will now throw up to attract a mate, which is honestly very, very wild, and they had success doing the exact opposite. And this is extremely impressive because we just recently mapped the neural pathways of a fly's brain a couple of years ago. It was actually one of the more successful stories that we studied on this channel. And I did not expect to see scientists to be able to genetically engineer the brain, this hyper complex organism here, to make it output different mating behaviors across different species. And this isn't just a mad science experiment, as the article says. Flies share around 60% of their genetic makeup with human, and scientists believe that three in four human genetic diseases have a parallel in fruit flies, so we can study and perhaps find solutions for human genetic diseases by studying the behavior and the neural pathways of flies like this.